Hey folks, how's it going? Jerry here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about this uh, Great Tribulation period to come and what all this involves because most of you guys, you don't understand what I'm talking about when it comes down to this Oz Ozark Trail. This Ozark Trail, guys, if you take it backwards like the occult does, it means liar to the, and the T means for Christians. Liar to the Christians. And this is the Ark of the Oz, folks. There's your snake, and there's the pyramids. This, folks, all this stuff that you see here is, it's all uh, RFID chipped, every bit of it is, in some shape, form, or fashion, all this camping equipment. And it's designed to be that way in these last days. So that when you go into the woods during the Great Tribulation period and all nations and all governments are hunting you, are tracking you, because you won't accept the mark of the beast. This is the diabolical plan that these big powerful men have come up with to, uh, to find you in the woods in these last days. Because all this stuff, the pins and the stuff in it, is low frequency RFID chips. They're, they're putting out a frequency of between 65 to 110, which is very low. But it's good enough to find you. That's what they're using it for. It's the Ark of the Oz, the chest of the wizard and what he's using to uh, to find you in these last days. Look at that. All of that stuff does. It, it's all got it. It's all got a backpack like uh, screw type RFID chip, radio frequency, uh, device in it. All this stuff does. And it doesn't come as a surprise, guys, because the FEMA program was all, the whole thing about FEMA and the, the concentration camps and everything here at Walmart concentration camps, it's all true, guys. George Bush Jr. was the one that started the whole thing. And his dad, his granddad, was Aleister Crowley. I'm telling you the truth, guys. Now, you may say, Jerry, that sounds like just so much of a diabolical plan that I just can't believe that these men that have all this power would end up doing this to ordinary people. But, folks, it's true. Take a look at this one right here. <laughs> we, we've got a... Uh, uh, we've actually got a... Uh, uh, one in the form of a teepee, uh, like a pyramid of the pharaohs. <laughs> right here for this teepee tent. <laughs> for the Ark of the Oz right here. And there's the two pyramids. And the snake. And the T right there, like I tried to tell you, it stands for Christian. T, anytime you see T in Demotic, Pharaonic, or Ancient Greek, it stands for Christian. Rail means rail like rail cars of a concentration camp. And if you spell it backwards, it's a liar to the Christians. The Oz Ark, or the Ark of the Oz. It's Aleister Crowley, guys. And last year when I done the, uh, the film of uh, the Lieber Oz, where that I took all those in-between footage shots of, uh, of uh, the rug doctor stand, the kiosk, there was all kinds of stuff of Aleister Crowley come up on that thing, man. Take a look on my other channel. The very first, or it's either the first or the second one that i done on the Jerry McFadden channel. Uh, it's just like this one. Now, if I can post it, I will here a little later today on that one. It's uh, Aleister Crowley and the Mystery of the Lieber Oz. And you'll see all those in-between shots and uh, demon hands and everything that I took and caught on camera on that thing. It should have went viral, guys. But, you know, nobody ever sees my videos. And if you're seeing it, you're you're fortunate. But this, uh, all, you got to remember, all nations, all governments, all everything is going to be controlled by the beast in these days, folks. There's a great tribulation period, and you're going to be hated by all nations. 
And that's what this is the diabolical plan for the RFID chips that they've got designed to catch you. They've got equipment, guys, to pick up on this in the middle of the woods. This is how they're going to round people up. This has been done on part purpose, and it is diabolical. Now, uh, I have took the RFID uh, sensors that you can run on the app and stuff, and I can detect every bit of this stuff having a level of, uh, of RFID chip in it. It all has it in it, guys. Every bit of this Ozark Trail or Ark of the Oz, it all has RFID chip chipping in it. And they did that because they've designed it to find you in this great tribulation period. I am telling you the truth, guys. Telling you the truth. Let's take a look outside here real quick. Folks, when you come into this shopping center that I'm in right here in New Jersey, Hamilton Marketplace, when you come into this place, you will see that they are two, like Masonic pillars of Joaquin and Boaz, two Masonic pillars here coming in this place. And if you notice, uh, they're made just like the Arches of Bell that was uh, even featured in uh, New York City here some years ago. Uh, back when all the abortion thing was going on. And uh, But uh, also something I want to bring to your attention as well. Take a look at the one black pyramid for the pharaohs at the top. And in that one black pyramid, you've got four ventilation pyramids at the top of each one of these. Do you really think that that's just an accident? I don't believe so, folks. Hamilton Marketplace, like Lord Hamilton. That was part of the court there for uh, Edward Longshanks. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna show you too what it looks like on the way in here. Uh, well, hold on, just let me show you. Look at how they got this right here, folks, coming into this shopping center. They have got the hexagram that's with the Walmart symbol centered perfectly, dead in the middle between the Masonic pillars of Joaquin and Boaz of these two ball altars, folks. It's been Masons that set this up, okay? Oh, Lord have mercy. In the days of Noah, show up being the coming of the Son of Man. It is. That's, that's, how, that's how it's set up. It's positioned perfectly. The hexagram at Walmart, it's bewitching you. That's what that hexagram means, bewitched. You're coming in here and there's a, the Masonic pillars on both sides and the hexagram in the middle, you're being bewitched. Because Walmart was never intended just as a place for people to go and buy things. Here in the United States, it was intended for an eventual shutdown and made into detention camps, folks. They knew they couldn't come in here and just build them straight, so what did they do? They came in here and they brought them in Walmart, which Walmart in Greek, wall stands for a plain, ordinary, or sorry, uneducated person. Mart stands for a villa you can come, you know, and, and shop at, which is what they also put it as. But Mart also means to bring together a council with accusations against Jesus Christ. That's what Mart means in Greek. And that's what they're going to do, folks. It was the Pharisees of this tribe of Dan, of the Masons, that put Jesus to death the first time. And it was him the first time. Now they're going to perse persecute his church a second time. Uh, I want to show you something else. There's a Lowe's next door. And I've done a video on this one uh, back some time ago. Uh, another one that has an RFID chip in it. And it's all, it's all sigil magic, guys. It's be, they're bewitching you. That's what they have to do. They have to show you what they're doing before they do it. It's all the, it's all the rules of the game, guys. Lowe's is exactly the same way. It's a big group of powerful pharaohs that owns it, just like uh, Sam Walton. And no, they're not good old boys that hitchhiked across the United States and uh, and hit somebody with an old pickup truck counting how many cars was in the Kmart parking lot. You can see the pyramid there with Lowe's. Same thing, folks. It's the, the big, powerful, huge men that controls the media and everything of the world. They also control all these big businesses and everything else. 
the political and uh, entertainment industry, just like with uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Well, Oz, that's up in his whole thing again. And if, what does he sing about, Mr. Crowley? This is all uh, Aleister Crowley's uh, deviant plan, guys, in these last days. To RFID chip anything and everything that you would go into the woods in Revelation 12 with so they can find you. Because all governments, all nations, and, and everything, it's all going to be controlled by the beast, folks. You're going to be an enemy to this world in Revelation 12. That's what I'm trying to do, and I'm warning you right now. I'm warning you about these things. Now, I seen something in Lowe's here earlier this year, and I want to point that out to you. It's RFID chipped. Okay, they've come out with a whole line, folks, of these uh, backwoods utensils. I'll show you this. The True Purr. See that? Uh, here is another. Here's one of them here. So I'm gonna walk around the corner right here so that I can kind of show you a little something here about this. It's it's sigil magic, guys. They're bewitching us. This is the kind of stuff that you would take into the woods, like in Revelation 12, where the dragon runs the beast, or the beast and the, the the dragon, the beast, in other words, runs the woman into the the wilderness. Revelation 12. Take a look at this. This is the true purr. Now, true purr means like a true, you know, blacksmithing uh, metal, you know, the finished work of uh, artistical blacksmith design. True purr. In other words, it's true to the to the forge uh, forgement of what it is. But if you take a look, there's a deeper residual magic meaning to this. If you take a look real careful right here, you will see a face with sunglasses on it. See that? Just like my sunglasses, guys. I hope you can see this, okay? See the sunglasses on the face? All nations and all governments and everybody that's part of this one world beast system is going to be coming down on the Christians, guys. And they're going to be having one purpose in mind to hunt you down and destroy you in the great tribulation period this is not only the true purr is in a forged blacksmith uh, 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 piece this is also the true purr is in t-r-o-o-p-e-r -O -O -E the true purr with glasses on is going to come and pay you a visit in the woods in revelation 12 because this thing has got a 105 or fid chip indication on it and incidentally, too, I don't think that it's a, a it's a coincidence that this thing is red and black for Illuminati. That's what it is, guys. Red and black. Coincidence? I don't think so, folks. It's sigil magic is what it is, folks. They're bewitching you. They're bewitching you. It's just like the Oz. When I done that... Uh, uh, thing that I did there on the Lieber Oz on my other Jerry McFadden channel where I caught all that stuff on the in-between footages at the kiosk right above where that kiosk was was the 33 Oz standing for 33 ounces of the container that was there but if you read it in a different language he was the 33rd degree of the master builders folks this is all Aleister Crowley and his plot that he has laid out with these powerful pharaonic men who own these companies in this last day for you to have these utensils take them into the woods and these RFID chips catch you and they don't have to put out much guys just enough to show them where you're at okay so let's go back to my truck here for a minute we'll talk a little more I noticed the other day this headset that I've got uh, that I use for trucking right here, it emanates uh, radio frequency indicated device uh, coming off of it, the RFID. And if you even notice, guys, real close, this is a Rand McNally uh, device, and you can see the Masonic uh, compass. 
right in the uh, world uh, symbol. And so it's them, folks. And uh, like I tried to tell you, you I know many of you look at me and say, Jerry, why would they show you in an encoded backwards word or why would they show you what they're doing before they do it? Somehow, guys, it's the rules of the game that's laid down. That they have to show you what they're doing before they do it. And I'm telling you right now, this RFID stuff is all in this stuff that you're buying in the store. And it's designed so when you go out into the woods for the last days and you try to hide when they start killing us Christians in Revelation 12, that they can find you guys with an RFID finder. And guess who, guess who did that for them? The 5G towers, the old Jabiru shot is a part of the nanotechnology of it. And uh, the RFID stuff and all this camping equipment that you're buying, it's all Aleister Crowley, folks. And his grandson, George W. Bush, who founded the FEMA camps, okay? It's all them. So now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. <sighs> I am going over a list of stuff and I'm going to make a pack. I didn't find anything in this one, but I'm going to look it over a little bit more, this outdoor products. I'm going to make a uh, a pack to run with, to, to go to the woods with, that has no RFID related stuff in it whatsoever. Okay. And when I do that, uh, if you want, you guys want to know what I'm doing, I'll show you. And you can buy a lot of the same products that I'm buying so we can avoid this, this horrific uh, situation that Aleister Crowley has put everybody in with his stuff from China these days. China is in to make you aware and it grows. Yeah, China. I think there's a lot more to the China stuff than what you realize, guys. I got this uh, knife from Sharps Cutlery, and I don't think that it, it has anything RFID in it. At least it's not showing up, but I'm going to look at it a little more careful. This outdoor products, it doesn't. Uh, I can tell you this. I like this Swiss Tech stuff, guys, but don't be getting this Swiss Tech stuff <laughs> from the Swiss in Swissy land to go into uh, the woods in Revelation 12 with, okay? Let me show you uh, what's in, in this thing. Hang, hang tight. Hey, look at this right here, folks. This is in this uh, Swiss Tech light that I got. The microchip anti-theft packaging. Well, yeah, it's in the packaging all right. And the packaging is also the light that's included in it as well. Because that light emanates 135 on my uh, indicators, okay? And if you notice... You don't have the hexagram, you have got the uh, octogram for octagon. The octogram, and what is in the middle of the octogram or the the uh, uh, the order of the garter of the royalty is really what that is. And what is in the middle of it, folks? The hand of the tarot card. So that's what it is. It's an octogram with the hand of the tarot card in the middle of it, bewitching you the microchip anti-theft packaging. And it's, it's in it. And it's not just the packaging. It's what's contained within the packaging, too. The whole thing, the whole pack is this. And the pack is, is they're going to catch you in the woods when all nations and, and all uh, governments are controlled by the beast, folks. So uh, stay tuned with me, and I'm going to put my pack together, and I'm going to try to get together some stuff, guys, that don't have this stuff in it. And if you will follow along with me, I'll show you what we'll put together, and it will hopefully help you in understanding what to take out of your house and run with when we see the one standing where he ought not be, and you have to run to the woods. And another thing, I got it down here. Do not be going 
and buying any Camp Bell's soup <laughs> with the hexagram in it there. Because the Camp Bell soup is going to emulate a bell because guess why? Right there's an RFID chip, guys. It is a diabolical plan in these last days, guys, to catch the Christians in Revelation 12 for the Great Tribulation period. There's going to be a lot of people not listening to me, guys, and they're going to get surprised. They're going to go deep into the woods and think nobody's going to catch me here. This is my secret place I know about. And all of a sudden, they're going to catch you, and they're going to, they're going to show up, and they're going to put you in chains, guys, and take you away to the concentration camps, and you wondered how they knew where you were. Don't be one of these people in uh, this great tribulation period that gets bewitched by these RFID chips. Follow jury along right here, guys, and I will help you. I will show you what to put together. And then when we put our pack together, you will have a pack and have clothes that does not have this stuff with it. It's going to be hard to do, but together we can do it. And don't take nothing out of your house. When you see the one standing where he ought not be, make a run for the woods, folks, and don't take, don't go back to your home to get anything. This is the reason why God told you, the Lord told you, don't do it. Don't do it.